Welcome back to The Orchard. Today, we're diving into the tall spindle system and how we train branches for maximum fruit yield. Let's get started. What's the tall spindle system, you ask? It's a high density planting method using trees that have dwarf rootstock. Ours are spaced just two to three feet apart and trained to grow straight and narrow, supported by wires. This setup maximizes sunlight, airflow, fruit production, and makes it much easier to manage and harvest than traditional apple orchards. Last time, I showed you how we tie trees to support wires for stability. I still have some young trees left to tie, as well as some older trees that need adjustments. The trunks should be held straight by the ties, while still allowing room for growth and flexibility in the wind. When tying trees to support wires, it's important to leave room for growth and movement. Tying too tightly can hinder development or damage bark in a windstorm. I typically make a loose loop around the trunk or tie to a metal tree tie to avoid creating a noose. Trees naturally grow upward due to apical dominance. The tip of a branch produces a hormone called auxin, which moves downward through gravity and the tree's vascular system, suppressing lateral growth. This helps the tree focus on reaching sunlight, but we can manipulate that by tying branches so their tips sit lower than the highest point of the branch. This reduces apical dominance and encourages more lateral buds to develop. When training young apple trees, not every branch should be tied down. We want well-spaced young branches, often called feathers, that will shape the tree's future growth. If a branch will cause too much shading or crowd other branches, it might make sense to remove it for optimal distribution. By tying the right branches along with some light pruning, we help these young trees focus their energy on healthy growth and fruit production. Over time, these trees will fill out their space, producing more apples with better quality. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more orchard updates from this farm.